Merit just came out with a new line of lipsticks and I have every single color right here for you guys so that I could try them on my lips, try them on my arms so that you guys can see which lipstick shade that you want to buy. If you guys have never heard of Merit before, Merit is kind of like a clean for you, good for the planet brand. They definitely appeal to millennials and their whole shtick is that they have products that are good enough to go on your vanity. Apparently, their vibe is that every product that they make is that good, that it stands out in an oversaturated makeup market. Do I agree with that? No. I don't really like, mm, whatever, it's fine. This is not my favorite brand. It's not my favorite brand, but I will say these lipsticks, I've already tried them and swatched them and stuff. They are damn good. And today I'm gonna show you which ones are my favorite, which ones I don't really love. And you guys can see for yourselves which one you wanna buy. So. Let's get into it. So these lipsticks claim to be hydrating, buildable. They are 100% buildable. You guys will see that in a minute. And they're somewhere between like a balm and a lipstick because they're gonna be very hydrating, um, but they're in a lipstick in the sense that they're kind of matte, they're kind of satin finish, and they have a lot of coverage. This first color right here is called Millennial. Okay, it's kind of like a pinky rose. It is really creamy when you put it on the lips. Um, this color though, like I'm not a huge fan of it. It is a little bit cool toned. I think if you have like blonde hair, blue eyes, that type of a thing, then this would be good for you. But for me, so can you guys see like that little bit of shine? It's not completely matte. It's a little bit satiny. I don't know. What do you guys think about this? I think it's like not here nor there. But yeah, this is millennial. Okay, I found this chair and I was like, damn, this is a perfect match. It's kind of like diva, kind of like Cleopatra vibes. Um, very like feminine, but powerful, you know what I mean? So I felt like this was a perfect representation of this lipstick. I feel like I need to wax my mustache right now. Very comfortable on the lips, I will say that. Okay, so each one of these bullets has 34 Canadian dollars, so probably like 20 something American. I mean, I don't know, I'd buy like an e.l.f. I'm almost 100% sure that e.l.f. has a very similar one, so. You know what I mean? Okay, so this next one, I just wanna get this out of the way because I actually really don't like this color. I like pretty much every color in the collection except for this color, and this color is called Fashion. The reason I don't like this color is because it is too strong, it's too berry, it's just not for me. So this is what it looks like in the bullet. See what I mean? And honestly, the fact that it's just called Fashion, I don't know, just turned me off. It is also really easy to control. Like you can kind of like get away with not having any lip liner and you can kind of draw the line with this shape of two. So I appreciate that. This is fashion. I don't like it, but I can, again, I can see someone with like a very cool skin tone, blue eyes really like, this just could be so flattering. I just don't feel like it's on trend. I don't feel like it's flattering on me. I feel like nothing about it. Like, I don't like it actually. What is wrong with me? Hold on. I just haven't worn a color like this since like 2015. So I, it's flattering, but I don't like it. You know what I mean? Like I, what would I wear with this? I mean, it's not, okay. It's not as bad as when I tried it on the other night. The other night I tried it on in not natural light and like in my bathroom light. And I was like, this is just ugly. But now that I'm seeing it in like natural light, I kind of, I don't know. I, it's definitely flattering. I think the, just the name fashion is throwing me off, like fashion, you know? Okay, this, this is the craziest, sickest piece. I found this on First Dibs. I don't know who makes this. This is like a side table and I felt like this really represented this lipstick well because it's like warm and earthy, but like bold and powerful and understated all at the same time. Okay, so that's that. The next color is baby. So baby is a cool tone pink. It's almost got a gray mauve undertone and this, is gonna be, oh, this is pretty much my lip color. What do you guys think? Like, do you think it looks good on brown hair? I think for me, I feel like this is something that you can just kind of put on and not worry about. Whereas the other colors, like fashion that we just tried on is definitely a bit more deep and I would worry about it. Like I'd worry about it on a straw, I'd worry about it on my chin. This is something you can just like put on and not even have to think about it but I think it's really flattering. So this is what it looks like on a tissue. See what I mean about the fact that it has like a bit of a gray undertone? It's like mauve gray. Very sophisticated, very soft, but gentle, but strong and confident. Guys, guess how much these chairs go for? So this next color is called La Avenue. La Avenue? 
This is kind of like a deep Rihanna type of a red. This one's actually quite buildable. So if you wanted to do like one swipe, get it to be like a little bit sheer, you can get away with that if you want to build it up for a more opaque color. It also can get pretty intense. This is kind of giving me like Bordeaux. But see how it's just, it can be like a bit of a stain. I really like that about this color. It's got brown undertones. It's got a bit of red. It's not berry, so it doesn't have any purple in it. For the most part, it's kind of brick, you know? That's what it looks like with one coat. This one, this color, because it's so deep, you do have to kind of like map it out and stuff. I'm not really one to wear like bold colors on my lips anymore. It just like, you know, but I, I think this is actually quite flattering and I like how it looks without any makeup whatsoever. I'm not mad at it. Okay, let's build this up. With no makeup, guys, I'm telling you, this is a keeper. Pushing me out of my comfort zone. Ugh, the only problem is when you build a color up like this and it's so intense, you kind of have to babysit it. You kind of have to worry about where it's going on your face and that kind of a thing. Um, but is this color worth it? I honestly think maybe. This is stunning. Rusty, brick, red. If not vampy, it's more just like sophisticated. You know what I mean? Do you guys know what I mean? Talk about brick red. I saw, it's, I have loved this couch for a while. Uh, this is like, I think it's called a Togo. Look how good the sofa represents this lipstick color. What is that noise? It sounds like it's like in the house with me. The way that the bullet is shaped. Guys, I'm sorry if you can hear that. We're just, the show has to, we have to keep going. But the way that this bullet is shaped is that it's got a pretty fine point right here. Can you guys see that? So it makes it really easy to line everything. Okay, one sec. So yeah, just because I feel like this is such a sophisticated color, it's not like a bright red ruby woo. This is like a nighttime color for me for sure. I could see this being really nice with like dark clothing, like a slinky dress or like a dark Um yeah. I'm pretty sure that I said that there's no purple in this, but now that I'm seeing against white, does that not look super purple to you? Am I tripping? I keep forgetting to do close-ups. Next color is Slip. I think this is one of my favorites. Yeah. Oh, they're all really good, but this is one of my favorites. This is Slip, and this is very beige, very brown, very orange. <laughs> if you like warm tone, warm toned nudes, this is gonna this is gonna be for you. <gasps> mm, that's so disappointing. Okay, so do <laughs> don't um try not to <laughs> take the bullet too far up, but we can make this work. Mm, it's really hard. What if I took a lip brush? No, that's too extra. gonna put this to bed now but yeah it's like this color it's really pretty so this is slip this is what slip looks like on the lips okay this color right here is giving was silly you know what i mean you're playing it safe it's still kind of neutral but you're still kind of like you're in the know with this color you know what i'm saying it was crazy because I kept putting on coats and coats and I'm like, is anything coming off because it's just so similar to my lip color. But if you want something that is like very manageable and very warm tone and not too bold, then this is gonna be perfect for you. I really like this color. This is the type of color that you can wear without any makeup whatsoever and still look polished. Like I would wear this just like this. And I feel like with lipstick, I don't know, that's kind of crazy. Like wearing lipstick with no makeup but this one you can. So if you're having just like an eyebrow and lipstick type of a day, definitely get slip. If you're a minimal makeup type of a person, you got a warm olivey undertone. This is gonna be perfect for you. If you have cool tone skin, go for millennial if you want something a little bit more like neutral. If you have warm tone skin, go for slip because this is just gonna like blend right in and just like polish your whole look together. You know what I mean? Like right now I feel put together. Oh, this one also has a bit of like a gray undertone, but see how peachy it is? And it's actually more pink than I expected. Okay, this color, I think this is my second favorite color. This is 1990. This is like a true brown. Now I'm not gonna pull this up too far because I don't want it to break, but look how buildable this color is. This is like one-ish layers. 
and see how it's kind of got that like brown 1990s vibe this is what it's looking like with just one coat let's build this up i can't decide whether i like this or slip better all of these colors i didn't expect i thought oh i'm gonna have to film and put a full face of makeup on i'm lazy i'm sick you know what i'm saying but i was like let me just do this without makeup and all these colors look really good just on a bare face so this is what 1990s looking like when it's got a bit more coverage and a bit more built up it does get glossier as it goes a little bit more chocolate a little bit more it has a little bit of gray in it as well no can you guys see that this is 1990. this lounge chair is perfect for the slip color because it's very relaxed yet making a statement so yeah this lounge chair is called the oh my god guys Please don't make me pronounce this. Paul Cayernum. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that this lounge chair is like a classic piece and it's been replicated over and over again. Um, I think original one of these goes for like 10 grand. It was very easy to put on too, considering it's so dark. Like I don't, I feel like I did a good job without a lip liner. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. First time I read this color, I was like Tigger. No, this color is called Tiger and this is the last one that we have in the collection. This, hmm, very, very hard to describe. It's somewhere in between that brick red we tried and that slip color. This is like a, hmm, it's hard to describe. Very nice, <laughs> if I do say so myself. So that is one coat and I like it just like this cause it's kind of like matte, but I know you guys want to see all the coats. So let me just build this up. So this is what it looks like built up. It is definitely orange. It is definitely, there's a little bit of yellow in here too. Can you guys see that? It's a little bit more peach, red, brown. This is also one of those 90s colors, but this one is called Tiger. So if you guys are looking for something that is kind of leaning red in that 90s era, this is gonna be perfect for you. So that is it. Those were all the lipsticks. I actually do have um, videos just like this on my channel, just with other products. I just did the Patrick Ta blushes. I have the Rose Ink blushes. So if there is any colors that you just like can't decide, if you are looking at a collection and you're not sure what shades you want to buy, make sure that you're just like letting me know. Like you can DM me, you can drop a comment, like whatever. I'm just curious because I want to make sure that I'm making videos that are like you want to see you know that's the whole point that's the whole point of youtube thanks for joining me today i will see you guys uh next week bye